이제 네. I want to share that how we can use the breathing technique, which I learned from the uh, Rana Lingma tradition and the Namjoon uh, Sky uh, Dharma tradition, and also Dunjum uh, Tersa Kandu Tuktik. So, based on that, uh, I want to share some breathing technique. <laughs> and I will skip uh, most of this topic. And as Rinpoche said, these practices are so useful, especially I experienced during the pandemic time. And also I was sharing this message to the, uh, my student, even though very old age, who are 90s, still very, very uh, <coughs> benefit and useful. So also my topic is kind of how to combine tradition uh, yoga practice and modern yoga practice. Uh, I have been uh, ill with the breathing and my uh, spine, spine and also certain lung problem. So, that's uh, how I start uh, to, to engage with the yoga practice. And uh, then here I, I learn also some yoga, uh, Hatha yoga from her, and I have different tradition, Mysore yoga, and uh, also uh, traditional yoga. So that's some technique. I, I could say I invented some technique, and it has been very useful. And I was sharing this topic and exercise with a great uh, scholar, with Ayn Becker in Norway. So, uh, it seems like he is very inspired with our class and he said, I must come in this conference. So, and then also, Takshu uh, Parmahura also provided a wonderful invitation I received. I would like to thank uh, both of you. And then, also, a few years back, I joined the conference uh, based on history of Padma Sambhava. It was very uh, joyful uh, time, I still remember it, and also this conference also re reflected that time. And I'm very happy to be here, and whoever arranging this, I would like to thank from my bottom of heart. And now I want to actually the first topic based on uh, manuscripts, ancient manuscripts, I want to really share, you know, when the inner tantra began to compile in the Kandyur and Dengyur. And briefly I would like to tell you that during the King Chisong Devsin, there is two uh, name list of the Kanjur and Tengur. It's called Kanjur uh, Kacha Pantama and Dengarma. And there is one, uh, uh, the Kacha Chimpuma, that is lost. But my topic is based on this uh, Kacha Pantama. And I have been research uh, for this uh, topic in Central uh, Tibetan University in Saranath. So since then, I'm very engaged for that. And certain uh, topic I would really like to share, but due to the time, uh, I could not go all the way through. If you are interested, please leave your email address with the uh, alert and I will send it uh, the, my presentation. You can see all the sources, text, everything. It's, uh, I did it quite detailed. But now, um, okay, now I would like to uh, demonstrate some breathing technique. I think it would be very useful. So I would like to request you to uh, Stay in your on your chair and 
First, I would like to experience you, how you breathe and turn now. Then after that, I will share my technique and then you can compare. And at the end, I will show you the, this technique, where it comes from. Okay, so please relax, stay on your chair. and straight your spine close gently your eyes you can take deep breath inhale Relax. And we can do together three times. 
exhale to inhale. Now inhale deep. Release. Please scan your body what is happening. I think you might feel difficult to breathe, you know. Now the technique I want to share, uh, the technique is, first, always breathe through your nose. Even though you are doing tulpur, you shouldn't, there is certain exception to full practice, but mainly always through your nose, that's the first uh, uh, method, and the second, you have to, you have to uh, exhale, inhale through your throat. That's the second important point. And the third, how you can uh, breathe through your throat. There is a technique, you can make it sound, sound like, like when, you know, the mild snoring. When you snore, there is a certain uh, mild, gentle snoring comes. That sound you have to use it. For example, so it should uh, come through your throat, and you have to use it this uh, throat. And after that, the third point is, you have to fill your uh, red cage and chest. You should open your chest and uh, bring your chest in the front, but still relax your shoulder. And you, while you inhale, you don't think about, about belly. When you are holding breath, then always you can uh, keep it into belly. But just for the exhale and inhale, mainly you have to provide some space for your lung. For example, if you are sitting like that, and even though you try to bring deep, but it always kind of there is a limit, you cannot do it. Therefore, you have to open your chest, and the lung need space to keep the breath. So therefore, for example, You have to fill all your upper cage and here red cage also and the chase you have to filter up. And exhale. You can see relaxing and bring your red cage inside. And again exhale. So this is the main four technique during the exhale and inhale. If you want to, if you are doing such a true course and uh, deep practice, then you have to hold breath in, into belly. Okay, let's do it uh, five times uh, with this technique. Breathing through nose and throat, making the mild kind of snoring sound and filled up your chest. Let's do it together. <coughs> Inhale deep through your throat. Exhale. Inhale deep, filled up your rib cage. And relax, exhale, 
again stay focus on your sensation on your body okay now i want to request you to hold the hand and put it at your back and straight your spine and also straight your elbow and make it relax your general body and with the four technique three times deep breathe exhale and inhale inhale And relax. If you are a new meditator, close your eye. Feel the sensation from your palm, elbow. I'm sure you can feel that so much vibration from your palm and practical experience. And that is the practical. You can feel it. No? Even for a few seconds, it's really yes. Vaporation uh, comes all over the body, and that that's the technique, you know. That it it won't come by the running. It only comes by force of the exhale and inhale. Okay, and after that, one technique. This is for good for the releasing uh, stress, anger, and hatred. Okay, but it's it's uh, actually it has to do it uh, with the stand. But everybody is sitting, so we do it like in that way. Here, deep inhale. Inhale, deep. Okay. It looks very funny, but there is a very, 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 very uh, how to call uh, uh, physiotherapy, you know, physiotherapy idea based on uh, this. You can see when you when when you laugh, what sound comes? Is it come on or a uh, or hum? Ha. ha. So that's why ha is the one of the mantra to release our stress. Normally, when you see the animals when they get stressed and afraid, normally they shake their body. That is the. Uh, natural gifted technique to release this stress but we as a human being we have a natural technique to laughing and the yawning okay even though uh, such a text also it mentioned laughing and during the yawning one of the opportunity to recognize your nature mind but however the sound of heart it's really releasing from uh, it release your stress and here what you have to do based on uh, uh, these are called uh, practice of gexel okay. clarifying obstacles uh, clarifying obstacles so what is the gag here the gag is the too much holding breath in your heart and then uh, in upper body you get back it and then uh, heart disease to release this thing and that uh, this is the practice for it. So here there is a important technique. While you say ha, it doesn't work like ha, it won't work like that. And it text says you vomit ha, you know you vomit ha, means what you have to do, 
Inhale, deep breath. You have to warm it. And that is the base on uh, Namchur cycle. You have to visualize that you are vomiting green ha and uh, uh, that is the form of the uh, three uh, poisons, all the uh, obstacles. So you have to uh, throw it in that way. Okay, let's do it with the technique. Okay, vomit ha, try to, try to do it. And here, inhale, deep breath, open your chest. Inhale deep. <laughs> now, please focus on your body and look at your sensation. And if you are a practitioner of the Dzogchen, Mahamudra or uh, Uma, what? So this is the time to, to enter into a high level of spiritual practice. <coughs> okay, the last one exercise. These few exercises are very simple technique and it's very useful uh, without age, age limit, yes. you know, and any time, okay? We call Vajra Feast and stay here, not like this, and gentle, deep breath, inhale. Okay, let's do ten times. In deep inhale. <coughs> Exhale. and relax, close your eyes and feel the power of the uh, breathing exercise. Don't focus too much. Forcelessly bring awareness on your body, on your sensation. Just be a watcher and keep this peace sensation and I want to invite your sensation into the mantra sound and after a while also you can forcelessly we can sing together and then experience the blessing of the mantra and Use that blessing and enter into your nature of mind. Oh, oh, oh,